Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So yesterday I cut this hay field. It's a mixture of grass and red clover. And today I'm going to rake the, the hay away from the tree line. It's shady on this side. It's not a very sunny day today anyway, but it's shady on this side. There's actually less grass on this side as well, but we're going to rake it out to where it'll be in the sunlight. Uh, tomorrow and the next day after that will be sunny, so the hay will dry, but if we leave it in the shade, it's not going to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and rake this over, and then I'm going to take the hay tether across it and then spread it back out so it's nice and even on the ground. So I just tedded the hay that I had raked inward. I didn't ted the whole field. I'm hoping to handle the hay as least amount as possible. It is kind of cool this weekend. It, like I said, it's cloudy today, but uh, it's supposed to be sunny the next couple days. I'm just gonna let it dry slowly and then hopefully get that baled up. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab a chainsaw and a tractor. I'm gonna go back up to the billy goat pen. I'm gonna try to demo, demo out some of that fencing that's up there, maybe save the gate and then there's a tree limb down that needs to be cut up. Well, it looks like I zip tied most of these posts, but this top one has actually got a hard wire. It's hardwired on there. Well, I guess there's another hard wire right there. So it's a mixture of zip ties and wire. So this might take a little bit. Zip ties are quick, the other's not. Well, it's starting to sprinkle. You know, anytime you cut hay, it's definitely the forecast is gonna change. <laughs> just the way it works out. I think it'll just be a, a little sprinkle and be done and over with. Oh my goodness. That's what I get for cutting hay. Holy. I can't get the break sometimes. Yeah, that rain only lasts about five minutes. I think I can get this one out. I think I got all the zip ties. Oh, just grown in. Well, we got a ground rod right here. And these can sometimes be tricky. There she goes. One galvanized ground rod. All right, I've got the fence tore out. So we saved all the posts and the cattle panels. And now we have a tree limb that fell down from this tree. And it actually fell on the net and Rebecca kind of dragged it off of the net, but it was really too big for her to move. So I'm gonna cut that up into some smaller pieces so I can drag it out of here. And Rebecca was getting wanting to get this all mowed down. And you can see this billy goat area is just full of weeds. Most of them about three feet tall and uh, they don't really like weeds that much. Um, I, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, they seem to like the woodier plants better. They would rather chew on like the trees and stuff back there than they would any of these weeds. And it's kind of crazy 
that this billy goat area would get overgrown like this, but it's just not stuff they want to eat. So Rebecca showed up with the lawnmower. She's got it set at five inches, and uh, we'll see if the Toro can tackle all these weeds. I can already tell when it's this thick, you about gotta mow it twice because you end up with the, some of the stemmy stuff like this. I hope you can tell that. You get some of it that sticks up. It doesn't quite get mowed. So usually when it's this tall, you gotta mow it twice. Well, we have the billy goat area almost cleaned up. We still got the uh, little, like, what do you call that? Their jungle gym? <laughs> yeah. We threw a couple round bales out there. And then that stump over there has got like a circle staircase pattern cut mm -hmm. into it for them to be able to climb. So I'll probably have to pick those up and take them to the compost pile. Yeah. But I don't know if they'll compost real well. I may need to break them up, those round bales, and like, which would be a lot of work. You have but, to make sure no chickens are in the compost because they're in there right now. Yeah, the chick, those chickens roam like crazy and the, you find them everywhere. Yeah, they're in the compost pile, mm -hmm. which that means we look for eggs everywhere too because we're afraid yep. that they'll lay them anywhere. Yep. So what do you think? It looks much better. Almost looks like when we had the camper up here. Yeah, the, yeah, right here is where we lived in a camper for a year while we built our house. But this is at the very front of our property, so this is what people see when they drive by. Yeah. So now it can at least be nicely mowed. Yeah. <laughs> and, and not have all the netting and everything, so maybe it'll look a little better for when people drive by. But it doesn't really matter, I guess, because our house is so far back they can't see it. The garbage men will miss the goats. Yeah, that's right. The garbage guy. <laughs> I'd catch, they'd, they'd, they'd dump the garbage and the garbage guy would run over here and pet the goats real quick and then they would take off. Yep. So yeah, I'm sure he's, <laughs> I'm sure he noticed that the goats are gone. Yeah. So this shelter has had multiple purposes and it's gonna re be repurposed again. It was first our outdoor kitchen. Yeah, we actually had a big screen TV. You know, like a flat screen over yeah. here on the wall. We had, well, we had, I don't know if we had it. Did we have a couch out here? I think we did. We had our grill. Yeah, we had a full like grill, mm -hmm. smoker, everything. Oh, we had a refrigerator sitting out here. Um, well, when you live in a camper, there's not a lot of space. So. Yeah, so we use this as our outdoor living area uh, back when we were living in the camper for a year where we built our house. But mm -hmm. then it ended up turning into the billy goat pen, mm -hmm. the, the goat area. And that's why it's got, there's like a platform built back there for them to, <laughs> to climb on, so but now we're gonna have to repurpose it again for steers. Probably like a shelter for steers, but mm -hmm. we'll have to tear a lot of this out of here mm -hmm. and uh, get it to where it's probably just the sides. We'll have to tear that end wall out over there. And uh, I'm probably have to wait till winter time, I would say. To move it? To move it, or it might have to just wait till next year, but eventually this is gonna move. Well, I think we're done working tonight. It's about supper time. Um, I don't know if we'll come up here and, and clean on this anymore anytime soon. It'll probably be several weeks before we get back to this, maybe a couple months before we get back to this, but at least it looks a lot better than it did. And we got it good enough for you to be able to mow every week, right? Yes. And keep it looking good. Yep. Yep. So I think all we got left to do is just pick up all the fence panels, posts, and that gate, see if we can get those back and uh, put away in the bank barn. But I think that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.